Welcome to an ancient DNA paper review by Sebastian Tomek. In this video we will review three papers on the initial populating of the Americas. First up is the paper Early Human Dispersal Within the Americas in Science. Native Americans diverge from Siberians and East Asians about 23,000 years ago. And that a split within that ancestral lineage between the later Native Americans and ancient Beringians occurred about 21,000 years ago. Subsequently, Native Americans diverge into Northern Native Americans and Southern Native American branches about 15,500 years ago. A split inferred to have taken place south of eastern Beringia, present-day Alaska and western Yukon territory. Initial entry into eastern Beringia and then into the unglaciated North America about 25 to 13,000 years ago, during which multiple splits occurred. First those in Beringia, followed by the Big Bar ancestral population split from the native North American and South Native American line. And then lastly, the North Native American, South Native American split south of Eastern Beringia. The North Native American groups remained in Northern North America, whereas the South Native American group began to disperse across the North American continent. Then followed a period of dispersal hemisphere-wide, 14 to 6,000 years ago during which time the southern Native Americans moved rapidly from North into South America, resulting in the close affinities of the nearly contemporaneous Spirit Cave and Lagoa Santa individuals. Early South American populations possibly carried Australasian-related admixture, as seen in the Lagoa Santa individual, and diverged west and east of the Andes. There was also admixture in, the, in North America between North Native Americans and South Native American groups before 9000 years ago that formed the population of which Kennewick Man Ancient One was a member. It is inferred that during this period, but after 9000 years ago, North Native American groups moved north into Alaska. Then they observed a population expansion out of Mesoamerica some time after 8.7 thousand years ago. These groups moved north into the Great Basin resulting in a population turnover after 2000 years ago, evidenced by the difference between Lovelock II and Lovelock III individuals. In South America, that expansion contributed to the ancestry of most South American groups, but did not reach Patagonia by 5,000 years ago, the time of the Ayayama individual. In the second paper, ancient human parallel lineages within North America contributed to the coastal expansion, also in science. They present 91 ancient human genomes from California and southwestern Ontario and demonstrate the existence of two distinct ancestors in North America, ANCA and ANCB, which possibly splits south of the ice sheet and a contribution from both of these ancestral populations is found in all modern Central and South Americans. These groups are what the first paper called North Native Americans and South Native Americans. Finally and thirdly we have the paper Reconstructing the Deep Population History of Central and South America in Cell that is focused more on Central and South America. In this paper they have sequenced 49 ancient DNA individuals. It has previously been shown that there was an early branching of Native American ancestry, one of those populated South Central America. The paper demonstrates two additional gene flows into South America. The first around 9000 years ago, replacing the oldest population, and one 4200 years ago, populating the Central Andes. The initial split 
is detected by comparing relation to a 12,800-year-old ANSIC-1 individual and the subsequent influx of genes related to a 11,500-year USR-1 individual. The study finds that all ancient South American descend from the same Eurasian source population. Previous studies have suggested that present-day groups like the Sururi in Amazonas has ancestry from a group termed Population Y that shares some elevated relation to some Australasian and a 40,000-year-old individual from Tianyuan, China. This study leans to refuting those finds as statistic false positives. The paper was in a side note Note that the variant of EDAR that affects tooth-shaped hair follicles and hair thickness with nearly 100% frequency in present-day Native American and East Asians was not fixed in the ancient DNA. Thus, the derived allele rose in a frequency in parallel in Asia and America. There is no speculation on why. Hopefully, there will be a lot of interesting follow-ups on this article. That's it for today. Till next time, I wish you all the best.